Hello everybody! It's Saturday. We had a long weekend of sales coming at you right now. Never took a left. Oh, that car was a jack of you. Terrible. All right, so today, Saturday, June 26th, and today was a good day. Sold a lot, went to an auction. All is right with the world. So, we uh, printed out a few things uh, before the auction just so that we weren't late when we got back. So, first thing we sold is right here. It's actually a picture frame, or a picture album, I'm sorry. Um, it is that tortoise shell picture album that you saw us buy. Um, it's a lacquerware uh, tortoise shell made in Japan. Um, this sold for $20 plus shipping. We got this at the funeral home sale. That you guys are so fond of talking to us about because it is definitely the weirdest place we ever got stuff and it was a good sale so uh next up right here this is uh this is really cool and i'm happy it's going back to the city it came from because that's where it actually i think that's where it belongs um this is a little tiny ashtray from the sierra in las vegas nevada um as far as I know, the hotel's still there, but not the one this ashtray came came from. They've, they've remodeled it and rebuilt it a few times since then. $10 for the ashtray, plus shipping. Sold a few wreckers. First one is uh, Let It Be by the Beatles. Um, I don't believe this is the original pressing. Um, 1970 version of pressing of this record. $12 plus shipping. Also, on the list of records that we sold is this one. Fleetwood Mac, uh, the Rumors album, probably one of their best selling records ever. $22.50 for that, plus shipping. Fleetwood Mac is hot, and they do sell really well. Next up is this little guy. We're calling him Craig's friend. Or, I'm sorry, we've been calling him not Craig. If you guys remember Craig, the Cabbage Patch that Sarah's been very upset. Actually, I'm a little upset that Craig left. So This looks kind of like Craig. It's a blonde version of Craig. Um, so we're calling him not Craig. <laughs> he's, he's a 1980 Cabbage Patch. Uh, we saw us get this last week at uh, the thrift store. Uh, he sold for $28 plus shipping. Next up is this. Uh, it's a shirt. It's a uh, Abercrombie & Fitch muscle shirt. That's, that's right. We still have some muscle shirts. Um, just a red polo. That's not even a polo. It doesn't have a real collar on it, but it's kind of polo -y. It's got the buttons. Or, I'm sorry. Oh, those buttons are real. Um, from Abercrombie and Fitch, $12.80 plus shipping. Sold a heritage book, Poems of W.B. Yeats. Right there. Not going to focus, huh? It's been... There we go. Uh, $12.50 for the book, plus shipping. Next up, a little porcelain baby doll right here. She's in plastic, so might not focus. Uh, move back so you guys can see. little porcelain baby doll, uh, made in Japan, uh, sold for $15, plus shipping. Sold a J. Crew Weekender bag uh, right here. It's just a duffel bag made by J. Crew. Uh, not new with the tags, but it's, it's never been used. Um, this sold for $35 plus shipping. Sold some sealed baseball cards. Uh, not the ones that you saw me get at the garage sale. These were different. We got these from an auction. These are 1990 uh, tops traded right there. Um, they're not all in here, but uh, most of them are in here. So there's the wax packs right there. Um, not great sellers, some of them. Uh, mostly things from the 80s and 90s uh, sit for a little while, but they will sell eventually. $18 plus shipping for those. Sold another book. Uh, this one's been with us for a while, and it's not a, not a, not a winner. Uh, Treasury of the World's Best Loved Poems. Uh, $3 for this plus shipping. 
It's another record. This one's right up my alley. I had this album. Not on, not on vinyl, though. I had it on uh, cassette and then CD. Green Day. Dookie. Right here. Uh, this is a newer pressing of this album, so it's not the original one. Uh, I don't even know that they pressed this originally when it came out, because it was 1994, and by that time, CDs and cassettes were pretty much it. Um, so this may have been one of the first pressings, but it, it's a recent pressing. Uh, $20 for the record, plus shipping. Sold a lot of vintage comics. These are Blondie comics. Um, right here. They're 10 cent comics, so they're fairly old, uh, from 1947. It's amazing they are still here. And there's this guy right here. Right there. 40 bucks for the comics. Plus shipping. You gotta be getting low on these by now. Um, these are those Abercrombie and Fitch uh, sweatpants. So I, I'm telling you guys, if you guys find these sweatpants, these ones actually still had a tag on them. Right there. Um, <laughs> just yeah, if you find them for any reasonable amount of money and they're in good shape, buy them. People love them. Um, this one's new with the tags. It sold for $23 plus shipping. And I still need a pair of those in my life. Sold another ashtray. I know I tell you guys all the time, don't buy ashtrays because they don't sell. But if they're vintage and or maybe something that doesn't exist, sometimes it's worth it. And we came across a lot of uh, Las Vegas ashtrays. And I kept a couple for myself because I do like... Las Vegas memorabilia. Um, this is the International Hotel in Las Vegas. The International Hotel is now the Hilton, um, and it, I think it's something else now, actually, because it was the Hilton. Now it's now it's Westgate, because that's what it's called, Westgate. Um, same building they just built onto it, but the International has since left us. So things like this, people do collect. This one's not going to Vegas; it's going to Indianapolis. But still, uh, pretty cool piece. Twenty dollars plus shipping. Sold uh, more Vamp Vampirella comics. There's an auction coming up where there's some, some Vampirella comics and I am going to be all over them because these sell great. 1974 Vampirella number 34. Pleased to see she's back in her red bathing suit. Um, that, that covers on the border of being a little too risque for YouTube, but I think we're okay. Uh, number 34 sold for $15 plus shipping. And we'll do it again. Uh, same buyer, I believe. Yep. Uh, sold 1975's special holiday issue. Super special holiday issue. So cheerful. With Vampirella. Again, we're pushing it. She has pants on, don't worry. But we're pushing the boundaries here. Uh, special holiday issue number 40 sold also for $15 plus shipping. Sold a record that I uh, don't never have heard of and probably never will this is xanadu the original mo motion picture soundtrack uh i know the names at the bottom olivia newton john electric light orchestra so sure we'll go with it um ten dollars for xanadu plus shipping sold a instruction manual for a 1955 singer sewing machine pretty cool huh um, it's, it's amazing what sells sometimes. Six bucks for this. Plus ship. Next up, sold some uh, Zara Girls size 10 t-shirts. They're just uh, girls t-shirts by Zara. Uh, pink and white. Uh, sold for $8.40 plus shipping. Next up, if you guys see this brand of sheets right here, Spring Made. I buy them because this has been I, I think every week we've sold something uh from this lot uh spring made sheets floral twin flat sheets 17 dollars. this is our last one plus shipping sold another uh porcelain doll this one's a little boy um right there uh wait a minute we do the boy or the girl last time i don't know uh i think we did the girl last time this one's a little boy we sold the little boy and the little girl. Back that up so you guys can see it a little better. Um, 15 bucks for that one, plus shipping. Sold a PlayStation. How about that? Uh, original PlayStation. Controllers right there. Uh, it came with a couple games, memory card, and some wiring right here. Uh, and then, the, of course, the console right here. 
this sold for fifty dollars plus shipping. Didn't even know we had it until we until the sold uh, the sold came up today, and I went, "What is that?" <laughs> Dirty ghetto kids, size thirty two. That's what they're called. Um, these are camouflage chino pants. Uh, $15 for the dirty ghetto kids uh, pants plus shipping. Sold more of those Emerald Gossy knives that Sarah got at uh, Ollie's Bargain Outlet for two bucks. Uh, these are just Emler, em, uh, Emerald Lagasse two piece pairing knife set, 10 bucks plus shipping. We got no more of those left too. Just selling out all over the place around here. Next up. Another record, and I know this record well. One of my favorite songs is on this record. Uh, this is Dire Straits, self-titled album, Dire Straits. Now this has got Sultan's A Swing on it, uh, one of my favorite songs. Uh, five bucks for Dire Straits, plus shipping. They sold a ton of those records, so there's a lot of them out there. Sold some shorts. Uh, <laughs> these shorts. Woo! You will be seen in those. These are Gap. Um, Chino Topic Green Stretch Shorts, size 34. Uh, $14.50 for the shorts, plus shipping. Keep on the theme here. One more pair of shorts. These are uh, Under Armour shorts. Whoop. Just your standard run-of-the-mill gym shorts. Uh, these do not have a tag. $14 for the Under Armour. These are men's size medium, plus shipping. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Sunday, June 27th, and uh, another good day. So happy with the trajectory of our business still going up from that slow week we had last week. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. First thing on the list today is a Puma uh, dry cell shirt. Not new with the tags. Uh, it's just kind of your run-of-the-mill Puma workout shirt. Sold for nine dollars. Uh, we had two of these. Both of them sold pretty quickly. Uh, nine dollars plus shipping. Sold a tank top. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> I'm telling you, over the winter I'm going to be stockpiling tank tops for the summer because they sell fast. Um, sold one of these before too. Uh, this is a Empire surplus tank top. Uh, size extra large. Oh, the Puma was size medium. Sorry. Um, Ten dollars for the the tank top plus ship. Sold a record. One of my favorite records. Sold the other one yesterday. This one happens to be my very favorite record. Probably one of my favorite albums of all time. Dire Straits, Brother in Ar Brothers in Arms. Uh, this has the legendary song "Money for Nothing" on it, which is. An awesome song and one of the coolest music videos <laughs> from the past. If you want to see what CG animation looked like back in the 80s, look up Money for Nothing music video. Quite entertaining. $12.50 for the record, plus shipping. Next up, some socks. These socks. These are uh, Eddie Bauer Cool Max socks. Um, they are new socks, size 6.5 to 12. Um, we've got a lot of four of them here uh, sold for $16 plus shipping people like the Eddie Bowers next up is a griddle this griddle uh, it's a cast iron and aluminum Griswold griddle uh, definitely vintage uh, we are trying to delve into this market a little more because there is some money to be made in it um, we're just not we just have to learn, you know, kind of what sells and what doesn't. Griswold's a good brand, and they do sell well. Um, so this is kind of our first uh, little delve into this market. This is a number nine flat griddle from Griswold. Thirty dollars for this, plus shipping. Sold another Barbie. This is a Princess of Ireland. This is a Dolls of the World collection, Princess of Ireland. If I was any good at it, I'd give you a good. Irish accent, but I am not good at it. Here's the back of the box here. Pretty valuable little Barbie here. $32 plus shipping. Next up is this. These are uh, blank CDs, rewritable CDs. Um, they're CDRs, so they can only be written once. CDRWs are the ones that can be rewritten. The one thing about these is, is you can actually print um, 
you can light scribe on these. So on the other side of these, you can actually light scribe, you know, what's on them and things of that nature. Um, and actually, there's kind of a little description here at the top. Um, so these are a little more valuable. When you see these, they, if they're sealed, they are worth some money. Um, this is worth $30 on eBay plus shipping. We paid a dollar for it. And then uh, we got two of them. So two of them sold, same person, 60 bucks plus shipping for this. So $58 profits, never a bad thing. Next up, we got some Huey Lewis in the news. Um, the sports album. Right here. And we've sold multiple copies of this album. I found this at that garage sale um, on Monday's video, actually, when I got all those Billy Joel records. Sarah found this one. Um, this is $6.50 for Huey Lewis and the news, plus shipping. Another record. This is uh, The Beatles, 20 Greatest Hits. Right here. Um, yeah, it's got a, if you can think of a Beatles song, it's on there. Um, pretty good playlist of Beatles. $28 for this, plus shipping. So also a good buy there. Sold a t-shirt. This is a Rat t-shirt. The band Rat. R-A-T-T. -T. Um, rat t-shirts sell well. Uh, so if you guys see Rat t-shirts, I know you really can't see what this t-shirt looks like. Uh, maybe I'll put a picture right here for you so you guys can see it. Keep an eye out for it. It was a good seller. $24.35. Or I'm sorry. $24. Yeah. $24.35. Took an offer. Uh, we were asking $28 for it. Uh, plus shipping. Next up, we sold one of those little shoes that you saw us get at that auction. This is just the right shoe. Um, it's like a little high heel. It's called the Shower of Flowers. That's what that's called. Um, this sold for $12. Free shipping. Next up, uh, again from Monday's video, this is a, a cast aluminum bank. Um, it's the Trick Dog Bank. It, uh, you put a little coin right here in his mouth and whoop, he throws that right in there for you. Um, he, uh, the little loop here was actually off and kind of just looped over the, the uh, clown. So we put that back on when you saw it on the video. But other than that, um, uh, that's all we did to it and cleaned it up a little. Um, these sell great. Uh, we've had a couple from auctions as well, uh, and they've all sold within a day. So, uh, $15 for the trick dog bank plus shipping. Next up, a uh, little vintage Care Bear bib. We got this at the bins. A uh, little bib with Care Bears on it. Be great if you could see it. From like, there we go. Uh, yeah, just a little Care Bear bib. Sold for four bucks plus shipping. We, after the garage sales, we went to uh, our usual auction. I didn't film it this time. I don't, don't want things to get stale on the channel, so try to mix it up a little for you guys. Uh, we did get these though. These are pewter statues. It's a little wizard holding a crystal. Really cool. Um, these are very collectible. People that pl uh, play Dungeons and Dragons collect them. And then just random people that like this kind of thing just collect them. So people do like the pewter statues. Um, <laughs> these sold for $11 plus shipping. Just this wizard. We got a few more. I may post them on my Instagram to show you guys what we got. Because they are impressive. Next up, sold some neckties. <laughs> Guess people are going back to work. So Express neckties here. It's just a black and a white next tie, $13 free shipping on those. Also sold four of these. These are called Windshield Wonders. They are uh, just a easier way of cleaning your windshield. They're kind of, uh, you know, they got a little extending thing on them and uh, that way you don't have to try and reach that far corner with your hand. Uh, $25 free shipping for four of these. Next, we sold a Holister t-shirt. Uh, this is a vintage Holster t-shirt from the 90s. Looks like that. That's upside down. There we go. Looks like that. Um, sold for $8.40 plus shipping. And last for today, some J. Crew um, fleece men's sweatpants. So J. Crew sweatpants. New with the tags, J. Crew sweatpants. Here they are. There is nothing special about these sweatpants, except for the fact that they say J. Crew on them, uh, and they are new. Uh, retail, seventy-four fifty. Seventy-four dollars for a pair of sweatpants. 
That's insane. We sold them for $32. Plus shipping. That's even insane to me. But you know, if you like J. Crew, you like J. Crew. Sweatpants. They are men's size uh, medium. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Today is Monday, June 28th. And we did pretty good today. Um, Mondays are normally hit or miss, and today was really pretty good. Um, sold some really cool things, and we're going to get into that right now. Uh, starting with this, I keep saying it, I'm, you watch, you're going to be seeing my videos in the wintertime, and all I'm going to be buying is tank tops, and you're going to go, why are you buying so many tank tops? And that's because we sell them. Here's a Nike... I'm sorry, it's not a Nike, it's just an Obey tie-dye tank top. Um, it's uh, not new with tags, but it's never been worn. Um, $11 for this, plus shipping. Cannot keep tank tops in stock. Um, it's pretty hot around here, so... Uh, and the rest of the country, I've, I've heard California is really, really hot. Over 100 degrees in Seattle today, too, which is not that normal. Uh, next up, a record... Another one of my favorite artists from 1964. This is Bob Marley in The Wailers. Um, but there's just nothing on this album that is bad whatsoever. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just not. It's uh, one of the best uh, records I've ever bought in my lifetime. So there's Bob Marley in The Wailers, sold for $16 plus shipping. That's more of a greatest hits record. It says the best of on the front. Um, really good record. Next up, another one of those little shoes that we got at that auction. Um, this is Rain 2000 Bobby Sock Saddle Oxford. Just the right shoe. So, it's like a little, little shoe here. I guess that's the Oxford look right there. Neat. Um, that one sold for $14 plus shipping. Next up is this. Jim Croce record. Uh, this uh, sold for five dollars plus shipping from 1973. Sold some shoes. We're not uh, big shoe sellers. I know a lot of people sell tons of these, and we're just not. Um, we could be. If the price was right. Um, you know, uh, we just really haven't found great deals on shoes. They're normally like this, um, and. I don't know. It, it, the volume we'd have to do to make a profit, I feel like, would be a lot. But these were pretty cool. They were at an auction. These are Nike Air Flights. Uh, they're brand new. Uh, they don't have tags on them anymore, but man, uh, they've just never been worn. Um, so, you know, you gotta... I, I, I couldn't not buy them whenever I was there because they were, they were just in such good shape. And there was... You know, I, I have a chance to make a buck, so I will. Uh, we didn't. We paid a lot for them. Paid fifty-five dollars for them. Sold them for seventy-five dollars, and that's normally the profit margin we see when it comes to shoes, which is why we don't sell a lot of them. Um, but you know, it's money, so I would be persuaded to get into shoes, like I said. But I would probably want to buy like a bulk deal of a whole bunch of shoes and then that way I could uh, you know sell in bulk rather or not sell in bulk but sell in volume rather than sell one or two but this was there easy enough uh, $75 free shipping for this sorry not free shipping <laughs> I did it in reverse $75 plus shipping free shipping would have been not so good <laughs> sold some Under Armour stuff uh, we sold a Under Armour uh, pair of and that. Uh, we sold an Under Armour pair of uh, pants. These are uh, running, sh running, I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm just not, I can't say anything today. These are Under Armour workout pants in green and uh, got some lime green highlights on it. And then we got this Under Armour shirt as well um, with the big logo on the front of it, also in green and gray. Um, $20 for both of them. Plus shipping. Next up, we found this, um, we got those old ski boots at that funeral home pick that we did, and this was in it. It's um, an old um, U.S. Olympics uh, ski key from the U.S. ski team. Um, 
it says whatever that is on the back from 1976 pretty neat um, this sold for eight dollars plus shipping it's nice when you find old stuff tucked in there uh, and those sell before the actual boots did next up another heritage book this is the bridge of San Luis Rey right here uh, this one sold for seven dollars plus shipping We're getting down to it there's not many of those left uh, down there so uh, definitely getting to the end of these books. Next up, it's a HEPA filter. You saw us grab this at a thrift store. Um, this is a HEPA filter for a Hunter uh, Hunter air purifier. Right there. Um, we tend to grab these whenever we see them because they're light, they're easy to ship, and they're worth some money. <laughs> $12.50 plus shipping. Those are all my favorite things right there. Light, easy to ship and worth money just I should have that in a banner right here that would be great light easy to ship worth money maybe that'll go on the stickers sold some Pyrex um, this is a crazy daisy butter tub doesn't look like a well I guess it does look like a butter tub um, right there and uh, vintage Pyrex, so we've, we've been doing all right with vintage Pyrex. Uh, it's hit or miss. The problem we have is, is things like this. Um, so, like this had a lid, and we didn't know that. <laughs> so, uh, when we bought it, uh, we all, we obviously didn't. We don't pay much for these things. So, for, we sold it for fourteen dollars, free shipping. But it would have been worth more if it had the lid. Uh, but we're learning. So, learning curve. Fourteen dollars, free shipping for the butter tub. Next up, that shirt I dropped right down here. This is a Nike Dry Advantage SS Tennis shirt. In Volt Yellow is what they're calling this. Woo! Is it bright? Uh, yeah, Volt Yellow, that's certainly a good description. Men's size large, sold for 12 bucks, plus shipping. Sold another legendary record. Uh, there's nothing you could say about this one. Um, I shouldn't even tell you the name, I should just say this one's old, but I'm going to. It's a Michael Jackson and the Thriller album. There's Michael in his white suit. Um, one of the best, if not, well, okay, so it was the best selling album of all time, right here. So nothing has sold more uh, albums than this, except for one record. And I don't think it should count. Uh, this record is a you know was was brand new when it came out um and it has all original music on it so forth it's not a greatest hit or a compilation record it is a album that has come out and sold millions and billions of copies the record that it sold more than this album right here is the eagles greatest hits and i don't think that should count i think this should be still the number one best-selling record of all time a greatest hit that's a compilation of all different records put into one this should still be the greatest selling album of all time michael jackson thriller uh it's in really really good shape this is one of our best uh shape thrillers that we've ever bought uh ten dollars plus shipping so a duffel bag uh, that we got at the funeral home uh this is an east pack duffel bag uh vintage east pack duffel bag there's a little east pack like wooden luggage tag on it kind of cool uh 25 bucks for this plus shipping made in the usa another great record uh this is uh a greatest hits as well um i believe it's the greatest hits yes it is the greatest hits um this is uh tom petty may he rest in peace full moon fever um, this record, uh, great record as well, $28. We just sold some great records today. $28 plus shipping. Sold some Hollister shorts. Uh, these are new with the tags. Beach Prep Fit. What does that mean? Is that like a preppy fit or is it like this is something you wear before you go to the beach? Like you're prepping to go to the beach by wearing these red shorts. That doesn't make any sense at all. Size 33, $19.50 for these, plus shipping. Sarah and I were just talking about a few things that hadn't sold yet, and it seems like every time we talk about something that hasn't sold or that we were surprised hasn't sold yet, uh, it sells. 
and uh, we were talking about, hey, those, some of those Outdoor Life magazines haven't sold. Well, here one is, Outdoor Life. This is from uh, November of 1961, sold for 10 bucks, free shipping. All right, so I was editing this What Sold video and just realized I never said bye to you guys. So, see ya. <laughs> no, uh, if you guys haven't already, we're getting very close. Uh, 900, subs 900 subscriber giveaway should be coming up tomorrow. Um, so keep an eye out for that video. The only way you can be for sure, though, is to subscribe to the channel. So go ahead and do that now if you haven't. And if you uh, like this video, give the video a thumbs up. Really would appreciate it. Helps the channel grow. Helps, you know, just makes me feel better. I sleep better at night. So and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Good day, sir.